Hello Curious Minds and welcome back to Deciphering Stories. I'm your host, Luca Schultz. Today we're going to dive into a topic that is both intriguing and a bit disturbing. The Doomsday Clock. But before we get started be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our captivating explorations of the world's most fascinating stories. We live in a world on the brink of the abyss, wars are escalating, climate spirals and nuclear shadows are rising. But how close are we truly to Doomsday? Meet the Doomsday Clock, a symbolic countdown set by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists representing the existential threats facing humanity. This year, 2024, it is a chilling 90 seconds to midnight. The closest it has ever been. Stay tuned to the end of this video to see AI-generated images symbolizing what major cities would look like after the ultimate destruction. Now without further ado, let's get to the video. The clock's hands have not always been so close to midnight. Founded in 1947 after the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it began at 7 minutes to midnight. But as the Cold War escalated the time drew closer reflecting the growing nuclear threats. It even moved back a few times reflecting moments of international progress such as the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. But after all, who controls the Doomsday Clock? The Doomsday Clock is controlled precisely by its creators, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. The panel of scientists, which includes experts in areas such as physics, climatology, international security and international relations, meets periodically to assess the global situation and determine the position of the clock. Decisions are based on relevant scientific, political and social information, as well as perceived threats to the survival of humanity. The main factors that influence clock settings are Nuclear proliferation The possession and development of nuclear weapons by countries, especially those with significant geopolitical tensions, are considered factors that increase the risk of nuclear conflicts and wars. Climate threats Advancing climate change, rising greenhouse gas emissions and extreme global impacts such as storms, wildfires and increasingly frequent weather events pose a significant threat to the future of humanity. Dangerous technological developments. The emergence of potentially harmful technologies such as advanced artificial intelligence, autonomous weapons, unchecked biotechnology and genetic manipulation increases the risk of malicious or accidental uses with catastrophic consequences. Geopolitical tensions. Conflicts and tensions between countries and groups can lead to dangerous escalations, increasing the likelihood of armed conflicts and wars. Cyber threats. The growing use of digital technology and global interconnectivity make critical systems vulnerable to cyber attacks, which can cause irreparable damage to critical infrastructure and national security. So, what brought us to the terrifying 90 seconds of 2024? Experts cite a confluence of existential threats, escalating nuclear tensions, runaway climate change and the collapse of global cooperation. The war in Ukraine has reignited nuclear fears, while extreme weather events and rising sea levels are a stark reminder of the climate crisis. But this is not a hopeless story. The doomsday clock is not a prophecy, it is a warning. It reminds us that our choices matter, that collective action can take back the hands. Communities around the world are already leading the way, developing renewable energy solutions, defending peace and building resilience to climate change. Time is running out but we are not powerless. We can learn from history, demand responsible leadership, and support initiatives that promote peace and sustainability. It's time to rewrite the narrative together. As promised, here are scenes created by artificial intelligence to demonstrate possible post-apocalyptic scenarios of a possible final judgment. Thank you for joining us on yet another journey into the mysteries of our world. Stay curious, stay informed, and remember, the story doesn't end here. 
Subscribe, turn on the notification bell and explore more stories in Deciphering Stories. Until next time, I'm Luca Schultz, signing off.